wikidonis.com. True about tooth. We have been talking about a lot about aligners and uh, today we are going to talk about how an aligner is done and what are the procedures associated with it, uh, what are the clinical procedures, what are the uh, procedures which is associated in the lab. I will explain it in simple things so that you will understand how it is done and why it is done. Now, an aligner is a simple thing you, when you look at it, it is just a plastic thing, it is a clear thing which is kept in the mouth so that you can get a uh, perfectly aligned or uh, uh, retracted teeth or if it is actually looking bad, we can actually align it and correct it. So, that is so simple when you see it, but there is a lot of uh, effort which is going there. So, many people ask me where you can buy an aligner, you cannot buy an aligner, we have to make an aligner for you, it is something like a tailor made suit for you, it is not, uh, it cannot be bought just like that, because it has to move the teeth to an exact position, it cannot be done otherwise. So, do not get confused between retainers and aligners, it even the retainer has to be made just for you. Uh, so, uh, first thing what you have to do is you have to go come to the dentist, you have to do a consultation, then we do the planning and everything, then we will just talk about the procedure. Once that is done, then we make an impression of your mouth or we use a mold of the mouth. Once you do that mold of the mouth or we can even do a digital scan somehow we have to make a 3D image on the computer, whether you have to do a mold or impression and then make it a, and then scan it, a, uh, scan the mold or you can actually do an intraoral scan to scan the mouth and then we can get a 3D model. Once this 3D model is uh, available, then we have to correct the axis of the tooth. Or, or if you have to, if the tooth has to move back, if you have to rotate the tooth, if you have to, to move the tooth to the sides or, or anything, we plan it according, each tooth has to be planned and uh, it just has to be placed in the right position. Once this is done, once the position is planned and what is the right position, whether we have to do extractions, whether we have to shape or cylinderize the tooth, we have to, how to get the space, how to move the teeth, if you have to close the space all this has to be planned and then we have to put the tooth in the right position. Once this is done, then the computer analyzes what all movements has to be incorporated in different the same. So, that needs a comprehensive artificial intelligence played uh, a plan. It is not a simple plan, which is actually a program by which all these uh, small, small movements which has to be done is done in 0.26 millimeters per tooth. So, it is like every aligner will move 0.26 millimeter of a tooth. It is not one tooth which will move, different tooth will move 2.26. See if you have to think like that, 0.26 millimeter of one tooth and the other tooth moves and closes a gap, then around 0.5 millimeters. We are talking about millimeters, but still 0.5 millimeters. So, two aligners will close a gap of 1 millimeter. That is what is the whole idea, if it is moving both sides. If it is, if one tooth is moving, then it will take four aligners to close the gap. So, all these things is done using a artificial intelligence guided computer program. So, what you are paying is not only for the doctor, it is not only for the program uh, or it is not only for the planning, it is also for the, the artificial intelligence and the program which is actually uh, already custom made and then we, we have to print all these small, small uh, models which is actually having 0.26 difference between each and everything and all this is divided into different stages that is also done by the first thing. Then it is 3D printed or additive manufacturing is what they call it and then it is 3D printed and then we thermoform a plastic whatever is given to you is actually a plastic which is thermoformed on this 3D model and it is actually laser cut and things like that and given to you. Once this is given to you on the day of uh, giving, we have to do attachments if at all needed, we have to do attachments, we have to also uh, do cylinderization if at all extractions has to be done, we have to do that and then 
we place the aligners into your mouth and then you change it every 15 days and all the procedures associated with aligners has been discussed how how an aligner has to be kept is also been discussed so watch all that videos about aligners so that you understand more about the dental procedures or, or dental techniques and what are the different types of aligners and all those things have been dealt so see all my videos please subscribe my videos if you are seeing for the first time these are the procedures of aligners and you don't have to worry about anything it is all uh, well planned and then we'll execute it after the aligners we have to do something called as retainers and that is also planned and given different types of retainers are different types of retainers are also mentioned in my videos please look into all that videos please watch them so that you'll understand and knowledge is power so that you will not have any fear thank you very much wikidonis.com true about tooth